haven't seen everyone for a while. I'm back again. Um, I, this is a tip I have used when I have very young locks. Um, I had problems with my ends also unraveling. Uh, I came up, well, I didn't come up with this idea, but I did get it from someone, <laughs> ironically, in court. No, I wasn't in court for any, okay, anyway. I was with a client, and there was a guy in front of me whose hair was two-tone. You know, I noticed that on the bottom where his tips were, there was black, and his hair was brown on top. So, I was very curious to how he has hair to get two-tone. Again, I was very young in my life, I didn't know anything about anything. Um... And he was telling me that it just, it was hair glue on the bottom because his tips had problems with staying together. So I asked him how he did it and he said it's simple and you just put, you just take some on your fingers and put on your ends. So this where the nail, when I say nail glue, I mean hair glue. Hair glue comes into play. Um, this one is actually called Natty, but there's different kinds of it. You can find it at any beauty salon, beauty salon, beauty supply store. And they'll either have it behind the front counter or they'll have it out. But I think they'll have it behind the counter because I think it gets stolen a lot. Um, and it's, it's quite inexpensive, probably like 50 cents, no more than a dollar. Um, and it comes in like maybe a small one like this or a big one. Um, what you do, like I already did one. As you can see, the end is very uh, put together. There's no frizziness, nothing. Um, so how you do this is, and sometimes the glue gets stuck in here, and you may have to take this off and peel it off and stick it back on. It's not that hard. Um, I'm going to put a little dot on my finger. You do not need a lot. My mistake was I put so much on this... Um, on my tips, it was just like goo gobs of glue on my hair. So, um, what you do is put like a dot, and I do like that. Let me find another one that's kind of frizzy. And right here, and what you do is, towards the way that you usually twist your locks, is I would do it that way. And there you go. And it's very simple. And it comes off of your fingers pretty easily. You may, you may have a little bit on your fingers, but it's nothing that you should creep out about. And there you go. And it'll keep your ends together. Now, the one downfall of this is the fact that it, sometimes after maybe a couple of weeks, you probably have little black balls. Little got little... I need to find another word for balls. But, you know, I need a little... You get little um, cylinders of... of black glue everywhere there's it i'm gonna say black cylinders um a glue that may be on your shirt uh then it may be on the ends um so you may want to wash it out after two weeks if it does well without showing any signs of that fine but um you may want to be aware of it because sometimes it can get in places that you don't expect you may wake up and it's on your i'm not saying it's gonna be stuck to your pillow but it may be in places you want to definitely be careful not to get the stuff on your carpet it will come up but you don't want to be like rubbing it into your carpet because that's more clean for you to do. Um, so you may want to loosen it up with a little baby oil because I know when I used to wear tracks back in the day, um, I used to you know use baby oil to loosen the glue and then wash it out. Um, that's the only downfall I really see because my ends did stay together after I washed it all out. And they did seem a little bit more matted together and locked up. So um, try it out and see how it works for you it may work for some people it may not work for anybody but it did work for me and i did have permed ends which is a big big thing because i know i didn't start out with you know natural un chemicalized if that's even a word hair so <laughs> um hopefully i'll hear some responses and or some emails about how it worked out for you and i'll talk to you later